here we have a Missouri 1600 watt AC and it's a high cocking and poor amp and volts output and I'll show you why. So we're going to look at these two together. Right, it's a multimeter there. So it's important to watch meters here. Have a drop to chair because it's so high cocking. So high cogging due to three phase angle all wrong. That's why it's uh, pulling back on itself and it's not smooth. So here we'll try swap over. Now we have the Hornet. So we'll put this one onto DC volts. on because it's much safer. Hmm. You're watching me turn. You're watching this here. Look at the multimeter. That's a Hornet Supercore 14 Magnet DC lower cogging higher volts out. Here we've got a power drop calculator using 6 gauge cable, 40 amp input. 25 amp load inputs, 24 voltage, DC2 wire, copper conductor, temperature and conduit, 2 wire, and you're running at a 50 feet length of cable. And here we've got a 2.1% drop in the DC2 wire. PMA and here we've got an AC3 wire using 12 gauge cable 25 amp and 24 volt AC3 phase 3 wire we've got 54 cable and we've got a 5% drop so DC2 wire is much better Also, this AC 3 wire PMA from Missouri Wind and Solar is very dangerous because it used a caravan socket. And this is going to be in all the elements rain, wind, snow. If that cable breaks inside or even outside and touches a pole, you're going to have AC going to earth and you know what happens then so if they rate this PMA at 1600 watt you're going to have AC three phase going down your pole which could kill you yourself or your pets family members so this needs to go straight in the scrap bin because it's not approved don't use it it's not safe DC alternators is a common part of everybody's use because we use it on vehicles. It's safe to use, you're not going to get yourself killed. Thank you.